tonight, new video and out front of Lisa Marie Presley, just days before the only child of Elvis Presley died from an apparent cardiac arrest. You can see her here on Tuesday, walking slowly, being helped down the stairs at the Golden Globes. And she's also heard asking her friend, the talent manager, Jerry Schilling, for support during this interview with Billy Bush. Wow, tonight will be a, a wonderful night for Elvis. Yes, I hope so. And have you gotten to know Austin Butler a little bit? Yeah, I, I'm going to grab your arm. Yes. Um, a lot, a lot, actually. At this hour, it is still not clear what caused her death. Her mother, Priscilla Presley, saying in a statement that her daughter had been receiving medical attention, but did not share anything more about how this could have happened. Kyung Law is out front. Engine 125 squad, 68th full arrest. Paramedics responded to an emergency call for help. Hours later, Priscilla Presley, mother of Lisa Marie Presley, said her daughter was rushed to the hospital and then shared with fans that the daughter of Elvis had died at age 54. I just, I, I got chills because that's how her father passed. The child of the king of rock and roll, who lost her father when she was nine, had apparently succumbed to cardiac arrest. There are about 350,000 cardiac arrests every year in the United States. So that's about one almost every minute in this country. So it's a very common occurrence. And there are a lot of things that can cause a cardiac arrest. Without an autopsy, says cardiologist Dr. Jonathan Reiner, it's impossible to know why a 54-year-old woman would suddenly suffer from cardiac arrest. Just two days before, mother and daughter had attended the Golden Globes, where a biopic on Elvis was honored. I, I'm going to grab your arm. Presley leaned on a friend during this interview. And just days before the award show, she spoke at Graceland of withdrawing from public view at a celebration of what would have been her famous father's 88th birthday. I keep saying you're the only people that can bring me out of my house. <laughs> Presley had previously lived a very public life, marrying the king of pop before she would embark on a singing career of her own. While she left the limelight in recent years, she shared her personal struggles. Presley wrote about her addiction to opioids, saying in the foreword of this book, you may read this and wonder how, after losing people close to me, I also fell prey to opioids. After losing one of her four children to suicide over two years ago, she wrote, you do not get over it. You do not move on, period. Uh, Dr. Reiner says that in the wake of Presley's cardiac arrest, as well as the cardiac arrest of sports writer Grant Wall and NFL player Damar Hamlin, there has been a scary and unfortunate rise of misinformation, Erin, where conspiracy theorists are trying to tie this to vaccine safety. Erin? Mm. Okay, thank you very much, Kyung. And joining me now is Kevin Frazier. He's the co-host of Entertainment Tonight. He interviewed Lisa Marie Presley during her final public appearance at the Golden Globe Awards on Tuesday. And Kevin, I appreciate your taking the time. I'm sorry to be speaking to you under these circumstances because you were there. You were with Lisa Marie Presley the last time she was seen alive in public. Uh, we've got the video of you speaking with her at the Golden Globes for Entertainment Tonight. I'll just play one of the exchanges you had with her. Sure. Hey, Lisa, how are you? <laughs> I just, I just want to photo bomb you. No, no, it's perfect. This is a big night. Whoa, what was it, what was it like watching him on stage? Hi. Oh, good to see you. Nice to see you. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? I, I hear a lot about you. Thank you. I hear a lot about you. Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Yes. What was it like watching Austin on stage cool. and during this movie and the making of this movie? It was mind-blowing. <laughs> Truly mind-blowing. I really didn't know what, it, what to do with myself after, after I saw it. Yeah. I, I had to take like five days to process it mm -hmm. because it was so incredible and so spot on and so authentic that, yeah, I, I can't even describe what, what it meant. You know, watching that, it, I, I don't, obviously I'm watching it through the screen, the video. She did appear to be a little unsteady, maybe her eyes uh, a little heavy, then she's speaking slowly, maybe misses a couple of parts of words. But this is like in retrospect, right, seeing this. Um, you know, we see the video of her on TikTok being helped down the stairs. What did you see? You know, you were there with her in person. What was your impression at that moment? 
Erin, it was immediately clear that she wasn't 100%, but you know, you never speculate on what's going on with someone. She was yeah. there to celebrate her father's legacy through Austin, and this was a big night. Austin winning the Golden Globe was a big night. So she would definitely have to be there, want to be there. She's been with him through this entire journey of the movie Elvis. And her and her mother seem to be in such a celebratory, you know, mood. But you obviously could tell she wasn't 100%. Right, so you, you you felt that there. And and look, you know so much about her. She was the sole heir to her father's estate, inheriting Graceland when she was 25, and she was there uh, on Sunday, right? So there was the Golden Globes, and on Sunday she was there giving a speech on what would have been Elvis's 88th birthday. Here's a part of that. Thank you. It's been a while. I missed you. And I love you. I keep saying you're the only people that can bring me out of my house. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> and I love you back, and that's why I'm here. So today, uh, he would have been 88 years old. Uh, it's hard to believe. Interesting what she said there. You're the only people who can bring me out of my house, and I'm not kidding. Um, of course, sort of look at that differently now. I think the point there is that, you know, she was still grieving the death of her son, Benjamin, and she has been very open and honest about that. She penned that um, article in People about his death. You never really, anyone ever gets over the death of a child. And you also have to remember that since she has been small, she has been the focus of everyone's attention as the sole heir, the sole child of Elvis Presley. Um, they got divorced, Priscilla and Elvis got divorced when she was four years old. So she, then she left Graceland and went to California and then he passed away when she was nine. So since then she's carried that burden. And you know, this legacy meant everything to her and her mother. And having been there uh, several times and, and watched her record music and listen to her grow, it was never an easy path for Lisa Marie. She was always trying to figure out her place in this world. But I will tell you that she loved her children and her relationship with her mother was so close and so special.